All right, what's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, Todd Falcone checking in in my office, running in here. Listen, I wanted to do a quick uh, post on a subject that, uh, well, I think all my posts that I do on my video blog have direct relevance to success in network marketing. So this is on the, under the subject of success in network marketing. And I put something up on my Facebook page of the day, uh, actually it was earlier today, and uh, I don't even remember the exact words that I used, but... Uh, I don't know. It was just a very short quote. Let, let your strengths demonstrate your, com, you know, your competitors' weaknesses, not your mouth. And I just find it incredibly interesting how many people um, choose to take the low road rather than the high road. And I'm gonna do something real quick. Hang on. Ah, just open up the office window. I've been running around. When it comes to promoting, and instead of building their business based on the, their strengths, in other words. Uh, you know, the, the strengths of the, their company, their product, their compensation structure, their marketing system, their whatever, they focus on other stuff like putting other people down, putting other companies down, other compensation plans down, other people down, and or doing like, you know, the comparison charts. Well, we've got this, but they don't have this. And I think that uh, if, if, from what I've seen, you know, especially in network, network marketing, for sure, when, when a company has to try to stack themselves up to somebody else to, to, to do a little comparison chart, you know, they're doing so because they're really not that strong of a company. They have to use the strength of another company uh, and maybe a couple little extra things that they throw in there to make themselves look good uh, be the thing that uh, gets them to attract people. So instead of uh, letting your mouth do the talking, I mean, we have to open up our mouth, obviously, when it comes to prospecting and recruiting. Uh, and engaging people, and there's definitely whew, many lessons uh, under that umbrella, many that I've learned recently, in fact. Um, but instead of letting your mouth do the, the talking when it comes to you putting somebody else's stuff down or other company down or whatever, focus on your strengths. Focus on just going out and doing what you do best, which is building your business, talking to people, sharing your product, um, not worrying about, you know, the competition and what they're doing, being so concerned about, oh, I gotta be, you know, make sure what are they doing over there. I mean, not being, not sleeping. On the other hand, either you don't want to be sleeping, because I've seen companies get knocked upside down because they were sleeping, you know, figuratively, maybe literally, I don't know. And all of a sudden, a company comes in, and next thing you know, they're they're knocked out of the ballpark before they even realize that their competition came in. So very important to be wary of your competition and be aware of your competition. Uh, but focusing all your time on what they're doing um, is really not what you should be doing. You should be focusing on building your company, building your business, um, building your asset base, uh, focusing on the things that you guys do, the, the benefits that you bring to the table as a, as a company, as a product or service or a combination of those things, uh, focusing on bettering what you're doing every day uh, personally as well as, you know, you don't really have a whole lot of control over that from a corporate standpoint as far as what they're doing. But... Hopefully your company, the at a corporate level, they're doing everything they can on a daily and regular basis, and most of them are. I'm sure most people that, that are at CEO positions and running network marketing and direct sales companies are, you know, always looking to do things to grow the business, to to make it easier for their distributors. They're not in the background. Going, ha, 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 ha. Let's make it harder so people can't make money in here. They're they're they they want to grow as well. I mean, if you're a CEO of a company, you want to do everything that you can. To grow, sometimes companies have growing pains as well. They go, some go fast, some don't go so fast. Um, but um, you know, again, I don't want to get off track and go into another subject on this video. But focus on your strengths. Uh, let your uh, let your actions do the talking, not your mouth do the talking. You know what I'm saying? Instead of instead of talking about what what they're not good at, let you know just put put the actions into play. Uh, let that be the success story for you. I think that's a better way of creating a name for yourself as well. If you want to create a name for yourself in the marketplace, you don't create a name for yourself by trying to make a name for yourself. You create a name for yourself through the production that you create in the marketplace, which ultimately, whether you want it or not, kind of creates a name for yourself. So, and I think I see a lot of that these days where people are trying to, you know, make a name for themselves. Rather, you know, let your production be the thing that is the meter that counts it. You know, it's like, okay, well that, based on the productivity, uh, yeah, you get my point. So... I'll see you on another video sometime somewhere soon, I'm sure. And uh, I'm out. i got to get ready for a couple conference calls. We'll see you on another video blog soon. See you. Bye.